Good morning, everybody. Uh, I trust that all of you are well. We are, um, you know, I'm excited to bring you this uh, short message when I want to encourage you to uh, give no room for the old system in your life. God doesn't want anything that can destroy your life. He wants things that can preserve your life. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that we should not perish, but have eternal life. The only way we can actually measure the love of God or that which actually speaks to the human heart as pertaining to the love of God where we can really understand the love of God is how God wants to preserve our lives, how he wants us to have eternal life. That's why he's come and given life and immortality unto man. So um, I want to just read a verse for you guys just here from um, Numbers 33. Now I Numbers 33 verse 55. Let me just get it. I just messed it up there. But uh, there is no guilt for me. Glory to God. Numbers 33 verse 55. I'm sure that is the right one. It says, it talks about Israel and when they received their land and went into the place that the Lord has given them. And it says, but if you will not drive out the inhabitants of the land from before you, then it shall come to pass that those which you let remain of them shall be thorns in your eyes and thorns in your sides, and they shall vex you in the land wherein you dwell. Now what I believe this is talking about, and what it, uh, if we want to apply it in the New Testament, is that God has given us a land. He's given us a land of no guilt, no condemnation, freedom, grace, righteousness by faith, life and immortality. That is what He's come to give us. And if we um, go into that land and we say we can split, uh, God, has, God has come, has given us the victory. But if we want to make use of that which lived there before. In other words, if we want to keep a little bit of law somewhere in our life. What it says is, is that these laws will become um, like thorns in your eyes. And with a thorn in the eye, you cannot really see very well. You know, I did a lot of uh, steel work. Um, at a time in my life and if you would use a grinder and you don't use safety glasses and a piece of that metal comes and gets into your eye and sometimes it gets in there and burns to your eye and is stuck in your eye and you know you cannot see it's like a thorn in the eye I mean we, a thorn in the foot is bad what, what about a thorn in the eye now in the very same way he says if we don't want to give way if we don't want to <coughs> not give way if we don't want to be radical enough to take the life that God has given us, the finished work of Jesus Christ, and apply it to every area of our lives, that thing will come back and bite us. And uh, one of the areas we can think of is just uh, finances, for instance. You know, so many times we come to a place where we, we say, no, we are not under the law anymore. Thank God that we're not under the law. Um, you know, and we, it's by grace, uh, through faith, and it is a free gift, and God's come to give us life. But yet we, we, uh, we maintain the old law system of tithing and sowing and reaping, things that was even before the law, in Abraham's time, which was a completely pagan time. You know, wherein uh, certain laws were followed, like, for instance, the law that Abraham and Sarah followed that stated that if a wife cannot have children after 10 years, then the wife can give her slave lady to the husband to bear children for her. That's what Adam and Eve followed. The, uh, not Adam and Eve, <laughs> Abraham and Sarah followed. They followed the laws of the land, the law of that time. And uh, they wanted to, by the law, through the slave woman, bring forth a child which they thought was of the promise of God. And um, eventually when the child came forth, and there is an ability by that law system to bring something forth, God said, cast out the bondwoman and um, the child. What that actually means is, you know, in today's terms is, if you can have a good testimony and some form of victory, by the law system, even while God has promised you, mixing these things, and from this mixture, you still find fruit. This is God's word uh, on the testimony we have by the law system. Uh, it would be, listen, cast out the doctrine plus the fruit, the good fruit that you got from that. It might work. You know, Abraham went to, um, to the slave woman, to Hagar, and it worked. The fact that something works doesn't mean it's from God. So um, I want to challenge all of you um, out there, all my preacher friends. Um, and then if maybe uh, you know of some preachers that preach grace, 
sent this to them. Let them hear this, not in an arrogant way, not in a bad way, but we want the truth. We don't want uh, the lie. And what happens now is if we have a wrong doctrine or a law doctrine that we continue to embrace, you know what it's going to do? It's going to impair your vision of grace. And if you read on and if you read in other places, it says that these thorns in your side and thorns in your eyes will actually cause you to leave the land the Lord has given you. What that means is, if you embrace a little bit of this leaven, it's going to leaven the whole lump. Let's get all the leaven out. Let's get all those kind of things out. For God has got things that He wants us to see and feel and experience that is above what we could ever dream or think in our normal mind. And if we are still stuck with little laws about, um, you know, sowing and reaping and tithing, and, and I mean, there are so many other things that we can mention, but that's a very practical one. We still see in the church being embraced by the church today. We will find reason to go back. If we look back enough about the fruit we had under the law, like the big church we had under the law, the testimonies we had under the law, you know what will happen? Our heart will find reason to go back to that, and it will destroy our lives. So we don't want to go back to any of those things. God has promised us, and He, uh, by His promise, we will have the life that He's promised us. Glory to God. And God loves you so much that He said, I want to give you eternal life and i'm not talking about just eternal life as like going to heaven i'm talking about eternal life that he loves you as a complete unit he loved you as a human being he wants to bring life to spirit soul body as a unit called a human or a living soul he will preserve your life eternally and that means that this grace message has got the power to manifest life for you and whatever you need as pertaining to life and godliness in this life let's take it on and uh well, you might be persecuted. You might have people say to you, um, yes, you know, that's not right doctrine, this, this, that. And forget about that. Uh, let us see what God has given us and walk in the life that He has promised us. Thank you so much, church. You are a great blessing. God bless.